Over here. Over here, Marlene. Not the light. You're so dumb. You don't even deserve to have brains. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. Like I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to assess whether or not we're going to actually move to the Deshong Tower. So I've heard back from uh, several of you, in fact, and I appreciate everybody's feedback on that. The majority of you pretty much said go ahead and do it. Um, you know, pointed out a couple of things like it is going to be a pain in the butt to climb up here, which is definitely true. Um, and, and I guess, you know, it kind of maybe it's going to depend upon how big of a pain in the butt it's going to be to climb up here. Because if we're going to live in the tower, I kind of want to live on the top floor. Uh, in terms of where we would live, I actually don't like the penthouse with the fat loots in it the most. Um, but that doesn't mean, uh, I mean, we can change things to whatever we want, but I kind of like the apartments more over on this end of the building like this is a really nice spacious kitchen in here and um you know this kitchen's a little smaller but I, this living area is nice where the bed's up on the platform but i mean we could uh did i miss that no i didn't um we could like you know we'll, we can live on the entire floor though we just just have to figure out how we're how we would set it up um so but in terms of access, that's like the biggest thing to figure out, you know, is how we're going to access, uh, get up here. Now, Undead Legacy does have elevators, and I did mess with them just a little bit at the end of Season 1. But I don't, I mean, they're not, um, they're not, I don't think they're real fast. So it could still, uh, assuming we did build an elevator system that got all the way to the top floor, you know, it could take a while, but on the other hand, if that's how we can get our vehicles up here with a full load of stuff, you know, then it might be worth it. But what I'm thinking is, you know, if we're going to do this at all, probably the quickest way to get up here is going to be via the elevator shafts. Um, we could do like a ladder system on the outside of the building, but, you know, that's not as simple as it sounds because, you know, there's not a flat surface at least I don't think there is there, you know, to get all the way up here without us having blocks and stuff get in the way. Um, if we do the elevator shaft, we're, we're still going to have to break some stuff out of the way, you know, to have a smooth shot all the way up. So, you know, I um, well, well, you know, unless they change the building, maybe here, let's go, let's go out this way. Um. Maybe there is a flat surface all the way up to the top. There never used to be. You, there used to be like half blocks and stuff in the way. Well, I don't know, though. This this kind of looks like a half block. It is a half block. Because if we... I'm trying to do this without falling off of here. Let's put you there. Yeah, see, that is a half block. So that means if we, if we put a ladder along this flat surface it's going to stick out and that's going to look dumb um right okay so i don't like that option i mean we it could it would be functional but having the ladder stick out like that would be weird so i think what we should do is break into the elevator shaft uh, what, how strong is that toe oh, lord almighty that's ten thousand hit points um This comes up against the elevator shaft. That's 5,000 hit points. But I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna do this legit, I don't really want a hole in the wall here. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna bite the bullet and break this open. So I'll see you guys back here when it's broken. Okay, so we got that busted open. Now, um, as there is, as you can see, that one elevator car way down there that we would have to, uh, we'd have to break a, at least break a hole through it, which we should be able to do. And you know what? There is, there is that ladder right there already in place. I know it, it, it breaks off, you know, further down, but we could, uh, we could repair that, right? So, okay. 
So let's do this. Let's very carefully put a platform here and one here. And I think what I'd like to do... Yeah, see, that's nice that the majority of the ladder is already built for us. Uh, what are, are the hit points on these things? Ten... Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> only have seven more frames on me, but what I'd like to do is... Uh, let's see here. What am I trying to do? Let's go there and... I'm just trying to make like a, a little bit of a backstop. So, oh, lag. Uh, so I don't accidentally fall off the ladder, you know? Something like that. Oh, crap. All right, pick that back up. Those back up. All right, so let's... Oh, man, the lag. See, that? that one of you guys did mention that there's going to be lots of lag in here, but I'll... I don't think it's necessarily the building straight up. I think it's the wasteland more than anything because I just have lots of lag issues in the wasteland. Okay, so what we're going to have to do here, obviously, is we're going to have to um, repair the ladder here. So let's break off the broken uh, pieces. I'm assuming I'm hitting that broken piece down there. Oh, son of a bitch. I couldn't tell for sure. All right, whatever. And then we'll go back to the base and we'll we'll make some ladders to bring back over here to replace the ones that were breaking out. But again, this is great because that means I don't have to <clears throat> um, make ladders to get all the way up here like we would have to do if we were doing this down below. So let's jump down here and jump down here and break this piece off. Okay, we should be able to just drop onto the ladder there. And then we have another broken area here. Um, we should probably go down another level here. So that way I can make sure I'm on the broken piece. Okay. Now, oh, shite. <laughs> now we're going to have... Um, We're going to have a little more of a span here to do. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to... Let's make... We'll make 20 ladders. And then we'll decide... Uh, it, you know, see if that's enough. Okay, so does this go all the... Oh, see, the no, other nice thing about this, too, is we don't have to take out the elevator cars. Oh, yeah, this is great. This may not be so bad after all, you guys. It, uh, what I'm going to do, too, is, you know, once we get, uh, uh, once we get the ladders in place, I'm going to time time it and just see how long it takes me to sprint up up the ladder. Now, down, we could maybe set up, um, like, a hay bale system for, for a quick way down. Um, yeah, so I'll have to think about that, but here, let's get, whoops, let's get rid of this. Roberta the robotic drone, get out of the way so I don't pick you. R Roberta must be immune to my uh, to my pick there. Okay. All right, so we got those pieces there. Um, can I put an another frame down low? Okay, we got we have to go on this side. Roberta, excuse me.
Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking we might need... I'm going to make 30 ladders. And we don't want... We want to make sure there's... Yeah, two ladders missing on the bottom just to make sure the Zeeks can't get up there. One zombie can't jump up onto one ladder space, but if you get multi multiples of them, they could um, pile up on each other, you know. Okay, now, we, I, I think it makes the most sense, oh, I'm stuck, for us to come through here. What am I stuck on? I can't move. Like, I'm completely stuck in the in the opening here. I'm still stuck. All right, here. We got to break this out anyway. Looks like the Zombos got started on it for us. Um. Oh! It's... <laughs> We're encumbered! Great to see you, Master. <clears throat> We're encumbered by all the iron and stuff. I was like... I thought it was, like, jammed in the doorway, but no, that's what it was. Okay. Roberta's weight is getting getting up there. Uh, here, let's do this. Okay. Uh, let's sort you by weight and our own inventory by weight. And then we're going to put as much stuff in her as we can. Oh, she's... Okay, hold on. She's already overweight. That means she's either not going to be able to move at all or she's going to be super slow. Let's let's actually put that in there, make her overweight. Critical errors shutting down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what happens. That's kind of cool that it does it that way. Um uh talk to robotic drone. Okay, hold on. How do I get into your inventory? Oh, here we go. Okay. Inventory here. There we go. All right. So we're still uh, heavy, but we can move pretty decently now. Okay, so, yeah, so this is actually not so bad. It, like I said, it kind of it's already kind of set up for us, except for, you know, the extra ladders that we would have to put in. Um, okay, so let's go back to the base, uh, offload some stuff. I'm going to make about 30 ladders, and uh, then we'll come back. We'll put the ladders in, you know, that are missing. And then we're going to time and see how long it takes us to get up there. All right, guys, we are back and ready to put some ladders down. Got all our inventory and stuff put away. Made, repaired a couple things, made some blocks, made some concrete, all that sort of thing here. Over here. Over here, Marlene. Not the light. You're so dumb. You don't even deserve to have brains. Okay, so we're going to hop right on in here. You must be in off the street because we have a land claim block. Uh, oh, I was going to move that over, and I guess I never did, did I? Can I pick this up? I can. Okay, nice. Here, let's get rid of these yahoos first. Hey, quit destroying that bookshelf. Not that it matters. Um. Yeah, I wanted to put that over here. But you know what, though? We really should move that up above where we're going to live. And I'm, you know, I'll just have to deal with repops when they come in down here. Thing is, is, you know, every time, almost every time I come home to my... Where I'm living now, there's a, a bunch of zombies chasing me anyways because they just all spawn in because of the wasteland. So no matter, even if we did keep the land claim block down here, we're still going to have to fight zombies down here damn near every time. So it makes sense to move that up above where we're living so that way we don't have to worry about repops in our living area.
I didn't get a, <clears throat> a headshot off on her, so. I've got a bad oh. feeling about this. Plus she's Sparrow. And that was a headshot. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to put the ladders in place. We're going to patch the holes behind the ladders. Um, and then, because, I mean, yeah, if I need to get to any of the floors for any reason, and there, you know, there are a ton of resources in here that we can, you know, that we can, uh, harvest, right? I'll, I'll just use the stairwell. I just made iron ladders for now. I didn't want to, uh... I didn't want to make steel. Well, actually, I guess these are iron too, so. Why isn't it letting me? Oh, because I don't have any scrap iron in my inventory. Darn it. Okay. Well, I may later on upgrade these to steel anyways. We'll see, though. Is that damaged or is that just part of the texture? Yeah, that's just part of the texture. Okay. Hopefully I have enough ladders to do this. Looks like we do. In fact, it looks like I made quite a few more than I actually needed to, but that's fine. We'll probably put a hatch up here and, you know, and make this little safety area a little more practical. Uh, but I'm just going to leave the wood stuff there for now. Okay, so that gets us to the top floor. And so now what we're going to do, as far as getting down, now there's a couple things we could do for getting down. We could just, I mean, we have tons of money, so we could just have a supply of oh shits drops in our inventory at all times. Um, but we could also try and come up with maybe on this side or this far side, a bale drop. Now, bale drops, when I say bale drops, for those of you who may not know what I'm talking about, um, they no longer work no matter the height so there is a point where you will take damage even with you know with the bail drops so based upon the height of this uh, building i would say we might need anywhere from one to three bail drops to safely get down so we would basically zigzag it so i would just jump down jump down jump down kind of like that um for now i think oh shits drops uh is a is a solution but i don't think that's a a viable long-term solution. I mean, it could be, but what happens if we just, you know, have some bad RNG and we can't find enough of them kind of thing, right? So I think we need to to do bail drops, and I'm going to have to just experiment, unless you guys happen to know uh, what the limit is, how many, you know, how many blocks or meters, because a block equals a meter in this game, that I can drop safely before I start taking damage with bail. And if you don't, then I'll just have to experiment with that. So, all right, well, the first thing we want to do here is we want to, let's time and see how long it takes for us to sprint up this ladder. It's not necessarily going to be a make or break situation, but I'm more just curious than anything else. And remember, too, you know, weight doesn't matter when you're on the ladder in this game. You can pretty much... It's, it's negated. I'll probably do something about this and make it a little sm smoother so we're not always jumping down into that little dip there. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get my uh, stopwatch going on my, uh, my clock, my phone here. And this isn't, you know, I'm not trying to get this down to the tenth of a second. I'm just getting a rough idea how long it's going to take for us to climb up. So, okay, here we go. And I do have my finger on the shift key, so we're essentially sprinting up the ladder. It is using stamina. I wonder, can we get all the way to the top before our stamina drains? Probably. Yeah, we should be able to. It is using quite a bit of stamina, though. So I guess that means if we want to get up here as quickly as possible, we want to have almost the full bar of stamina. And off the ladder, stop. Okay, so that took me about 25 seconds to climb up. So, you know, that is... That is the sacrifice that we make, you know, for, for living at the top of the Deshong Tower, is it's going to take us 25 seconds just to get all the way up here. But I think I can live with that. I think I'm okay with that. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt when we're trying to, 
you know, transport things, but um, I, I definitely want to explore the possibility of the elevator system later on. That's not something we can do now. The elevators are very expensive. They're totally uh, end game things. And we're not really in end game. We're we're solidly in mid game right now. Maybe starting to look at end game. It depends on how you define that too, which is somewhat subjective in my opinion. But anyway, uh, I want to explore the idea of the elevator. And oh, look at our our drones all glitched out there. For later on, but I mean we can put ten thousand pounds of shit in a in a container put it all in our inventory and walk up the ladder no problem i know that doesn't make any sense but it's just the way the game works and we're going to take advantage of that mechanic for now so that means we basically need a drop chest down at the bottom uh, or several drop chests down at the bottom and one all the way up at the top because you know once i get to the top if i'm overloaded i can't get off the ladder so i would need a drop chest like over in that corner that i could offload enough just to move you know kind of thing so i think i'm thinking this is probably going to work for us guys um so let's go back down now they're used i you used to be able to in this game sort of kind of jump off the ladder and then grab it again right towards the bottom i know that's very risky but you know that's another possibility it, we would have to be able to do it consistently is the thing yeah you know what that did work i did grab it let's try that again so I don't want to get like so far up that we're going to completely crunch our leg. But if I just jump off and then grab it again. Hmm. Again, <laughs> I don't know. I guess we could put hay bales down at the bottom, very bottom of the ladder. Now that's an idea. But you got to time it just right. If you go too far. Hmm. Seems like he's grabbing it all the way at the very bottom. Let's go up a little higher. You guys are probably going, oh, gee, you're going to break your leg. Yeah, I know. I probably am. Let's grab earlier. Oh, it does work. Okay. I, I tried to do this once not too long ago, and I couldn't. It didn't seem like it worked anymore, but maybe it just wasn't doing it right. Oh, I know how we could test this safely. Let's go all the way back to the top. Let's take a no shits, and that way, you know, if I screw up, we're not going to hurt ourselves. Okay, so we're all the way to the top here. Grab. <laughs> no, see? May okay, maybe I either I didn't time it right, because I was going so fast, or you, you get to a point where, you know, you're at terminal velocity and it's just not going to let you grab it, which, of course, yeah, maybe it's that's what it is. Maybe it, once you get to a certain point, you know, in speed, that you're, it's not letting you grab it. And that's fair. I mean, you shouldn't be able to grab it if you're falling that fast anyways. You'd pull your arms out of your socket. Let's just try it one more time here. Just so we know for sure that this is not a viable method. And even if it did work, you know, it's super risky, right? But we'll try it one more time just for funsies. Because we have oh shits now, so we don't care. We'll go all the way to the top. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, I, oh, okay. It, I spammed the grab button and it eventually let him do it. But yes, way, way too risky. So I think the ultimate solution here is going to be a bail drop. So we're going to have to experiment with that. Um, and that also means we're probably going to have to remove those cars, which is fine. We can do that. It might be a bit of a pain in the butt. Is this working? No. So, okay, we'll just have to take that apart. Um, so, yeah. Let's let's do this. Let's grab our land claim block. Um, actually, before we grab it, let's put the bounds on for a minute. I just want to see how high up this goes because it would be nice you know, to have, to be able to go to a few of the lower floors without getting pestered by repops, especially when we're trying to repair the place. Um, wait, where are the bounds? Oh, we can't see them in the front because they're back. There we go. Okay, so that goes up. It looks like it goes up one, two, three, four. So it goes up four stories high. I don't know how far down it goes. 
My assumption is, does it, well, maybe it doesn't go down at all. I think it does go down, though. Well, I can pick it back up, right? So we'll just have to experiment. But it definitely goes four stories, and we would want it to cover the roof because we'd, pro you know, we'd probably be planting a big-ass garden on the roof eventually. And we definitely don't want those zombies to repop because they're the worst ones in the place, right? So let's pick this up. And we're going to take it up to f uh, four stories. We did get that back, right? Yeah. Uh, we're going to take it four stories up. Oh, I'm sorry, four stories down from the top. And then, um, you know, s see if it goes up and down. Because then, be then it would cover eight stories in total, which would be really nice. Yeah, I mean, 25 seconds to get up here kind of sucks because this is about the top of my existing tower here. So it's going to take about twice as long to get up, but I can live with that. You know, you know, the other nice thing, too, is if we are at the very top of this tower, the Zeeks might not even be able to detect us up here at all. Which just means, you know, they're not going to be down there tearing up stuff trying to get at us if we aggro them. We'll have to make another... We'll have to make another kill corridor like we did like we have in our current base because that's super effective for killing the zeeks when they do aggro us okay so if we want this to get all the way to the roof that means we need to also cover the story of the roof too we don't want it to be level with the roof it has to be above it so it prevents you know the repops so that means one two three Four. So we need to go down to that floor there that my cursor is pointing at, I think, to properly cover this. Um, if I'm calculating that correctly. So let's just... Uh, we have oh shit still, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's just jump down here. Now the other thing is, is we want to try and get this right in the center of the building. So we're going to have to kind of... What if we set it right here? That's pretty damn close to the center. It may not be perfectly in the center, but it's pretty close. Okay, now let's put the bounding box on. And... So it's reaching... Whoa, lag spike. Oh, shit, it's just about. So it looks like it's reaching at least to the edge of the uh, the interior part of the exterior wall, which, which will stop any repops. Uh, it's going beyond the wall on that side. All right, what's it doing over on the other side of the building here? I got to figure out how to get back over there. Does that work? Oh, that does work. Any oh shits? No. Nope. Chicken ration. Okay. That we, we're going to take advantage of having a, our own vending machine. <laughs> All right. So looks like the bounding box does cover the north side of the building too. Very good. All right. Let's see if it's covering the west side of the building. That's almost the most important site it needs to cover because that's where we're going to have to do most of our repairs. It looks like it probably is from here. I need to get, actually get out there, though. Um, How do we get out there? Here. Through here. That's right. Uh, yeah, I think, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's even going beyond the the west side of the building. Okay, I think we're good, guys. Uh, well, we're good width-wise. Now, we got to go up on the roof. And here, let's also, is it going down eight floors? It's going down to the to the next floor for sure. Yeah, it's covering this floor. So it's basically covering from here on up, which if you think about it, is almost perfect. 
It's not covering the floor below here, but that's okay. I mean, that's the smallest portion we would have to repair anyways. So I'm not really too worried about that. Let's hop back into the stairwell. Uh, we're going to have to bust this out here. Uh, but we got we also have to check the the roof too. We have to make sure that the roof is completely covered so none of those repops can come back. Now as far as the stairwell goes, I'll probably repair the stairwell. Uh well, I'll have to think about that. Because, you know, we are we are eventually going to get repops down below. And it looks like the stairwell is actually in pretty good shape all the way up until this last part anyway, uh, which is good. So we, we wouldn't have to worry about repairing too much. Because if we... Um, Roberta, you're in the way. Can I just jump up there? Yeah. As long as we're covering all this with land claim, we don't ever have to worry about zombies spawning in on these floors, these upper floors. That's the theory, anyways. So, yeah, we'll, we will have to do a little bit of repair work up here, it looks like. All right, let's get up to the roof. All right, so hmm. <coughs> excuse me. So the bounding box is touching. Let's get over here. <coughs> it's coming to about the the lower block of these spawn points question is, is that enough to prevent them from spawning? I have no idea. It might be and it might not be. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with this positioning for now. And, you know, if we discover to our dismay <laughs> that the Zekers repop up here in the future, then we'll, we'll just have to move the bounding box up a floor. And, you know, depending upon how our progress goes and whatnot, we might even already have those bottom two floors on this end repaired by that point, and then it will kind of be a moot point uh, from there on out. So, okay, guys. Well, I think we're going to do this. I really do. Um, you know, the one concern that I had, and I mentioned this to some of you in the comments, and, I well, I think I mentioned this in the also in the you know, in the last video too, is, you know, building materials are so much more expensive in Undead Legacy than they are in vanilla. But I just love this mod so much more than vanilla anyway. Just the whole way you play the game and everything, look at that, that comes right to the very edge. Yeah. Uh, I just love the gameplay and the mechanics and how Undead Legacy works so much more than vanilla that even though it's going to be a pain in the butt... Um, resource wise compared to vanilla I still I still think um, I'm gonna do it and um, you know we are gonna it's gonna take a lot of work it's gonna take a long time I might even do some live streaming you know for the grindy stuff if you guys are interested um but we're gonna get a lot of XP you know too from all the building and, and so that you know that's a that's a plus but the the idea is to repair this building I mean come get all the rubble out remove all of the jagged broken blocks, repair them with clean blocks, restore the whole place, paint it back up so it looks like the original. And we're, why are we doing this? Because we can. For the hell of it. And for the XP. And because it's always been something I've wanted to do in this game. And I think now is the time to do it. Um, you know, so here's the thing, though. We're, I'm not going to spend the next, you know, 5, 10, 15 episodes only doing this. We're still going to mix it up. Uh, we got a whole city out here, you know, and we've only covered maybe 20% of it, if even that. I still want to do random looting. I still want to check out POIs that I haven't been into yet. 
you know, so we're going to continue working on the game in that regard, too. So we'll just mix it up, you know. So some episodes will be more building-focused, um, and some of them will be, you know, action-focused. So that, <coughs> excuse me, is the plan, my friends. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am to move into this place. So I got to think now about the logistics of all of this. We got to get all of our stuff moved from our current building, which is over there, up to here. So that's got to get done. Uh, we got to figure out where we're going to put everything, what our living arrangements are going to be. And I'm going to open up the top floor. And I'm also going to probably take a lot of crap out from up here and really open up the roof. That'll give us a landing pad, you know, for later on when we have the, the helicopter and the gyrocopter and all that kind of stuff. And, of course, we, we're going to want to put a farm up here, too. So there's just a ton of things that I want to do. It's going to be a matter of prioritization. You know, what should we do first and in what order and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to be thinking about that. And we'll probably spend the next episode. What day is it? 75. Okay, we have two more days till the Horde Night. I'm probably not going to do anything new for the Horde Night. We're probably just going to go back to the garage again and do the same thing we did last time for now. I, I do. It is definitely in my plans to build though an actual bona fide horde base xp farm thing uh, that is on the to-do list <laughs> but i think i would prefer you know to to get my new home ready first or at least get it to a point where you know our stuff has moved over here it's usable it's cleaned up and you know the repairing of the entire building, that's going to come later. I want to get moved in first, and then we'll worry about starting, you know, the, the repairing part. So, guys, that is it for this episode. Uh, like I said, in the next episode, uh, let's continue working on the Deshong here and work on the move. And uh, then the episode after that, you know, we might actually, we might work on that and up until Horde 77, and then we'll do a Horde night. And then just take it from there. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But anyway, I do promise that I will mix it up. It's not going to be 100% building in the Deshong Tower moving forward. Um, and we'll go from there and have some fun. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.